extracted herbs and manufactured in the USA. The new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I'll be your host today. We're also going to be joined at the bottom of the hour with Jakari Jackson, Leanne McAdoo, and Kit Daniels giving us their take on Captain America. Now, it's not going to have any spoilers in it. I'm going to try to make sure of that. I'm going to, <laughs> I haven't seen it myself, so I don't want to know uh, any spoilers about it. We do have a video review up if you've already seen it. Go take a look at our video review and uh, get our take on where it fits in the Liberty Spectrum. We had uh, many of the crew went to see it last night. I think it was an 8 o'clock show around the uh, nation that premiered. And they put up a video afterwards giving their take on uh, what they thought about the movie. Because it's got a lot of political overtones. It's got a lot of connections to what we've been talking about today earlier. What about the Constitution? Does it? Should we have a constitutional convention to fix what's wrong with it? Or... Is what's wrong with government, not the Constitution, but the people who swear an oath to it and then violate that oath, the people who break the law? If we have criminals in charge of the government, would it make any difference what laws we write? I mean, that's essentially what we're talking about when we talk about gun control, right? We say, well, um, you know, let, let's criminalize gun control for the law-abiding citizens. The reality is, is that people who are criminals aren't really paying any attention to the laws right now. And that's what we have in our political class in Washington. We have a large group of criminals and no constitutional convention is going to bring them in line. It's up to the people to get them back in line. And we can talk about how that could happen. But uh, we're going to have that review at the bottom of the hour with uh, the crew coming in here, the Captain America spoiler-free review. We also have coming up later in the show another special report from Alex Jones, this one on climate change. And while we're talking about climate change, uh, we've seen a lot of intolerance with that, of course. We've seen in the U.K. calls from uh, MPs calling for people to be... Uh, censored and not allowed on network television to put in health claims if people are climate deniers. I mean, they basically are losing the argument on the science front, on the hard data. And so what they have to do is they have to censor people who are talking about that. Do they feel compelled to censor people who are talking about the earth being flat? No, because they don't have any compelling reason for that. And there's a lot of compelling data that shows that the earth is not flat. But they do have to censor people who deny their global warming narrative, the narrative that they're using to try to affect complete sociological change. They don't have the data to support that. As a matter of fact, the data conflicts directly with their climate models. Their climate models were predicated on a rapid rise in CO2 causing global warming. Well, we've had a very rapid rise in CO2, and it has done just the opposite. We don't see global warming in spite of them cooking the data and conspiring to cook the data in climate change, climate gate one and climate gate two. We were we caught them in emails saying that they wanted to hide the decline in global temperatures. So there's a censorship there. There's an intolerance there. But we also see that that is being moved into other areas. We see that the um, we see that the political left is pushing against Hobby Lobby. We had John Stewart calling the uh, Hobby Lobby store that was standing up for their First Amendment freedom of religion rights. This company that was owned by a family started as a small business. He called them Jesus Christ Superstore and mocked them for resisting the fact that they were going to be forced to do something that violated their conscience. You know, Thomas Jefferson said the thing that he was most proud of in his life was the bill that he drafted for religious freedom. And you know what? 
If you lose your religious freedom, if you lose your First Amendment rights, then you're also going to lose your Fourth Amendment rights and your Fifth Amendment rights and your Sixth Amendment rights. Oh, that's right. We already have lost those, haven't we? We need to start standing up for all of those. We're going to be right back with some more reports about what's going on with the police state. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I'll be joined at the bottom of the hour with Jakari Jackson, Leanne McAdoo, and Kip Daniels. are going to be giving us their spoiler-free take on Captain America. I know we all want to... We have high hopes. I haven't seen it yet myself, so... I'm going to make sure they don't give away anything, but I have high hopes that it's a story about returning to the moral foundations of our country. I think we've seen this country really go south, and I, especially since, let's say, World War II, there's been a public acceptance of corruption and of violating the laws we now see in Congress when the IRS can use be used as a um, tool against political enemies openly. It's not that this hasn't been going on. It went on with Nixon. Of course, he was impeached for that. But it's been going on with all of these politicians, Democrat and Republican. And yet we see this come out in the open and stay there. And nothing is being done about it. 
that takes us morally to an all new low level, the tolerance of the criminal behavior in Washington. And the cynicism that we see from people, I think people are, one of the, pop, one of the reasons I think that Captain America is so popular is because people are aching for some kind of moral foundation. They want to believe that there is somebody that is not going to be corrupted. And hopefully that's what this movie is about. Certainly looked like that from the trailers. But it also puts it in the, in the current environment, I think, of a uh, police state. So we'll be talking to them about that. Hopefully not without, uh, we'll do that without any spoilers. We're also going to be talking in the next hour about the shooting at Fort Hood. The reactions to it. What our government has done in the past about PTSD, because, of course, PTSD isn't really the issue here. He was not diagnosed with PTSD. He had not been in combat. So the issue is not necessarily PTSD, but the issue is SSRI drugs. Kit Daniels and Jakari Jackson went to the press conference at Fort Hood. They asked the question and they got the answer. That's currently linked up on Drudge Report. It's on Infowars.com about the common connection with all of these mass shootings being SSRI drugs. That is the current way that the government is treating depression and suicidal tendencies. And of course, it pushes people in just the opposite direction than you want them to go. It actually exacerbates those conditions under most uh, with, with many people. But our government has a history of other things, not uh, just as we had the EPA human testing scandal is now coming back because the EPA, a year after they got a judge to not put a temporary restraining order on them, they're coming back with kind of a mea culpa and saying that, well, we really do need to review these procedures to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, if there wasn't something wrong with it, why do they need to review the procedures? So that's come back into the... Uh, and the stories, we covered that about a year and a half ago. Uh, it was Steve Malloy with JunkScience.com who uh, discovered that. It was American Tradition Institute that tried to stop it. Uh, but now it's come back and it's uh, getting a lot of publicity coverage. But our government has been doing these kinds of human experimentations, not just on people, not just with the EPA, not just, uh, of course, there's a long history with the Tuskegee Institute as well as many other cases uh, we talked about this a couple of days ago. Uh, the CIA, under Operation uh, Paperclip, brought a lot of Nazi scientists, a lot of Japanese scientists over. Of course, they always want to just talk about Werner von Braun. Uh, there was a great parody piece, so we ought to lead in with that in the next uh, thing, if we could find it. I can't remember the guy's name, but uh, it was something like... Uh, uh, the rockets go up, the rockets come down. It's not my concern, says Werner von Braun, right? If he can help us build rockets to do satellites, we don't care what he was helping the Nazis build rockets to do, right? Except that in the case of Operation Paperclip, most of the scientists that they brought back, that they took a very small number of them and held them up for a public display at the Nuremberg trial. But most of them that they could get their hands on, they brought back. And they were using them for biological and chemical testing on people. Very, very dangerous idea. Very morally bankrupt idea. There's a very good book written about the story of one of the scientists, one of the American scientists who worked with him, Frank Olson. It's called A Horrible Mistake. He eventually realized what a horrible mistake it was to engage in these kind of experiments. And he was suicided. His sons are still trying to get justice from the federal government about that. That book has an amazing chronology about Operation Paperclip. A terrible mistake, sorry, not a horrible mistake, a terrible mistake. Thank you for correcting me on that. Terrible mistake, the story of Frank Olson. And that book has an amazingly well-researched chronology of what was going on with him and gives you insights into what was happening with the human testing and experimentation. Very dark stuff. Unfortunately, at the beginning of the book, the author says that, well, that was a dark time in our history, and we're glad that we put that behind us. It hasn't been put behind us. It's still there. And our government is planning a much darker future. We're going to talk about what DARPA is planning for PTSD. And remember that it isn't just the veterans that the government is doing this to. If they're going to do it to the people who serve them, what do you think they're going to do to the people who are dissidents? What do you think they're going to do to the general public? You know, it's not just people who are returning vets with PTSD that are getting these SSRIs. They're giving them to children. They're getting children hooked on this stuff. 
We're seeing this happen across society. And what DARPA is looking at in the future to treat PTSD is something that they're going to be applying broadly. But we're going to look at not only that and not only the history of what the VA was doing to people right after World War II, which is a very dark period of time.